Harvey Lewis was the last man standing in the Biggs Backyard Ultra Race in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. You'll have to eat about 9,000 calories mm. every single day. Which started on Saturday and didn't finish until Tuesday night. 24 hours of running. At 156.3 miles in 24 hours. Lewis became the champion. Harvey Lewis tackled that very challenge. Yes. But also set a new record for most laps and miles in the Backyard Ultra format. Harvey Lewis, a school teacher from Ohio who this year became world champion and record holder of the last man standing ultra marathon format. He also won one of the toughest foot races in the world, 135 miles through Death Valley. All of this at age 45. How does he do it? How does he train? How does he eat? What advice does he have to offer us? Well, that's what I found out in this video. A native from Ohio, at age 15 he ran his first marathon and it was tough but it ignited a special passion inside of him. He also ran track and field in school but he claims not to have been very good at it. A family friend of his, Audrey I believe her name is, then took him to a 24 hour race at the Twin Cities. So in 1996 when he was a little older and looking for some challenge, he jumped into this same 24 hour race. In 2004 he suffered a car accident in which Neurosurgeons had to rebuild his fourth and fifth vertebrates with titanium implants. Luckily, he recovered. It took him a year and a half to return to full speed, but once he did, he qualified for the Boston Marathon, which means he got seriously fast. He's now gone on to run over 85 marathons and 77 ultra marathons. Stellar performances along the way while holding down various jobs. He also has a full-time career teaching the art of government and financial literacy. So, what does his training look like? When Harvey started competitive ultra running, he ran around 50 miles a week. By 2015, this number rose to 80 miles a week. And most recently, he said he will be on course to do 5,000 miles this year which averages around just under 100 miles per week. So how does he maintain such a high level of volume year round while having a full time job as a teacher? Here's two key things I think have helped a lot. The first point is run commuting. He runs to and from his job every single day or almost every single day without fail. As he's built up this habit over time and his fitness has improved, it's become easier and easier to do. The second thing that's helped run streaks. He runs every single day without fail, even if it's just a mile. For some people, like myself, run streaks help quite a lot to maintain consistency. He will often simulate conditions for the race. For example, if it's hilly, he'll run hills. If it's hot, he'll make sure to run in hot conditions. So does this ultra runner do speed work? Yes. He will make sure to get at least one speed session in every single week, regardless of the type of race coming up. Even for the most extreme of ultra runners, speed work is still important. Recording data is important to him as well. It helps measure progress and it's more motivating to see clear increases in your abilities and decreases in pace. He values cross training, walking, stretching, general strength type of stuff. Any cross training will make him more resilient to injury for sure. It's also worth noting his first marathon was in five hours and five minutes and it took five years to go under five hours and 17 years to qualify for Boston. So the main thing to take away from that is, even if you've been running for several years now, it's clear there could still be quite a lot of room for improvement. So what is one of the main things Harvey credits for this improvement? And actually Harvey told us you'll have to eat about 9,000 calories mm every single day and it all has to be plant-based because he eats vegan. Before we fully get into this I just want to mention that there's clear examples of runners thriving on all different kinds of diets but today we're focusing on Harvey and what works for him. For 28 years he's been vegetarian, five years vegan and he claims his health, energy and performance has increased dramatically since. He truly believes his body processes calories faster without meat and dairy. In his normal day to day when he's not racing, he consumes a lot of 
healthy foods like these shown on your screen. When he's racing and requires an extreme amount of calories, it's a different story. He will eat things like soup, pasta, pizza, cookies, avocado sandwich, cake, Coca-Cola, just to name a few things, averaging around 400 calories an hour. And it has uh, the calories I need to burn while I'm going really far distances. So I'm like, <laughs> it's kind of a treat. Like I don't always drink one every day, but when I, when I it's like oh, treasure. After a big race, he will try to improve his nutrition and also get quite a lot of calories in to restore his body. He will eat things like bean burritos, salads, vitamin supplements, plenty of sleep, that kind of thing. This type of diet works for a lot of runners. In fact, one of Harvey's friends is 99 years old and still running and healthy. Let's talk a little bit more about running as you get older. It's also worth noting that one of the other top backyard ultra runners didn't start running until she was in the 50s, ultra running in the 50s, without too much running before that. So you don't have to be a young whippersnapper to start running. Another piece of advice he offers for these really extreme races is instead of focusing on the whole picture, try to focus on only one aspect of it at, at a time. I was able to push through so many layers of challenges where it seemed impossible to like continue on, but uh, just chipping away and chipping away at the rock. For example, dedicate the mall you run into somebody you know. In 2012 and 2013, Harvey come fourth in bad water. In 2014, he won it. Big's Backyard Ultra 2017. Harvey got the assist second place after running for 57 hours and approximately 238 miles. Big's Backyard 2020. He comes second once again, this time to Corny de Walter after 67 hours and nearly 300 miles. After coming second twice. Hours when you wind to quit so bad, uh, but also wanting to stay in so bad. I'm gonna go as far as it takes. There was nothing that was gonna stop me. He chose not to give up, and now he's the world champion and world record holder of the event. I think, I thought a lot of things in the world were impossible. And so, the running, it taught me that you can do things that may appear impossible, but they very much are possible if you're willing to work at them, work relentlessly, and you uh, aspire towards them.